Hi, I'm Dr. Sonia Lee, Consultant Radiologist from Luma Women's Imaging Centre, Singapore. Today, I will be taking you through the process of breast screening, including mammogram and ultrasound. I will also share with you the similarities and differences between 2D and 3D mammograms, align common misconceptions, and guide you on what to do if you receive an abnormal screening result. Why should I undergo breast screening? Breast cancer is the most common cancer amongst women in Singapore. One in every 13 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. It is very likely that you will be living with or know someone who is caring for a breast cancer patient. Breast screening serves to detect early cancers through imaging, which allows for early diagnosis and treatment. In Singapore, ladies aged 40 to 49 are advised to go for mammograms every year, while ladies aged 50 and above are advised to do their mammograms every two years. This only applies to women of normal risk with no breast symptoms. What should I do if I have a breast lump? Monthly breast self-examinations are important for detecting early symptoms and changes to your breast. If you are experiencing symptoms such as a breast lump, nipple discharge, or changes to your skin on your breast or nipple, please consult a doctor early to have your symptoms appropriately evaluated. Please do not wait to do your mammograms at the regular intervals. What is the best time to have a mammogram done? The best time to schedule your mammogram is 7 to 10 days after the start of your period. This is because your breasts are more sensitive before and during your menstruation. How should I prepare for a mammogram? We recommend that you come for your mammogram in a two-piece outfit so that you are comfortable after changing into a gown. Remove all jewellery and piercings prior to imaging and avoid using body lotion, cream or deodorant as these can cause artefacts on imaging. If you have a copy of your previous breast imaging and or reports, please bring them along for comparison. Are mammograms painful? A certain amount of breast compression is required to acquire clear mammogram images. You will experience a few seconds of compression pressure that will feel similar to having your blood pressure measured. At Luma, we perform breast tomosynthesis, also known as 3D mammograms, which require less breast compression and therefore patients are more comfortable during imaging. How is a mammogram performed? Your mammogram will be performed by a female radiographer. Please feel free to communicate with her so that you are comfortable throughout this process. Two mammographic views of each breast will be acquired in the vertical and oblique directions. A certain amount of breast compression is applied for a few seconds for each view to obtain clear images. Will I have a 2D or 3D mammogram? At Luma, we advocate for breast tomosynthesis, which is also known as 3D mammograms. What are the differences between 2D and 3D mammograms? Both 2D and 3D mammograms are performed in a similar fashion, where breast compression is applied to acquire images in two views for each breast. In standard 2D mammograms, the X-ray beam is directed perpendicularly through the compressed breast, thereby obtaining four mammogram images. In tomosynthesis or 3D mammograms, the X-ray beam is shot through a continuous arc of 15 degrees, thereby obtaining an average of 80 to 150 mammogram images. The 1mm image slices are then reconstructed into a scrollable stack for evaluation. What are the pros and cons of a 3D mammogram? The advantages of 3D mammogram far outweigh its disadvantages, which is why we advocate for its use at our imaging centre for screening. Firstly, research has shown that 3D mammograms offer greater diagnostic accuracy, resulting in increased cancer detection. This is especially significant for women with dense breasts, which are very common in the Asian population. Secondly, 3D mammogram reduces the need to recall patients for additional imaging due to our ability to scroll through a stack of layered images to differentiate between normal overlapping breast tissue and true abnormalities. Thirdly, with our mammogram machine in Luma, there is overall reduced radiation exposure compared to 2D mammograms owing to reduced compression force used to produce 3D mammogram images. Finally, due to the reduced compression force required to produce 3D mammogram images, patients experience less discomfort during the imaging process. At Luma, we also apply a disposable mammogram pad to our machine before imaging for patient comfort and hygiene purposes. 
The disadvantages of 3D mammograms are limited to increased reading time and image storage issues due to the increased number of images acquired. Both disadvantages are worth their while given the significant benefits conferred on our patients. How is an ultrasound performed? Breast ultrasound is performed with the patient lying down. A small amount of ultrasound gel is applied on the breast and an ultrasound probe is used to scan your breasts and underarm regions. No ionizing radiation is used in ultrasound imaging. What should I do if my mammogram or ultrasound results are abnormal? If you have received an abnormal result on your mammogram or ultrasound, please make an early appointment to consult a breast surgeon. Our breast surgeons at Solis will discuss with you the next steps to take, which may include further investigation with imaging and or breast biopsy. How much radiation dosage is used for a mammogram? Radiation exposure from mammogram screening is extremely low and the overall benefits of early cancer detection certainly outweigh its risks. The radiation dose from a 3D mammogram in Luma is less than 0.4 mSv. In comparison, studies have shown that the lowest acute radiation dose known to cause cancer is 100 mSv. This is equivalent to 250 mammograms. Nobody should have to go through that many mammograms in their lifetime. Can I choose to do an ultrasound instead of a mammogram? Mammographic screening remains the gold standard for detecting early breast cancers. These most commonly present as calcifications which can only be appreciated on mammograms. Ultrasound is a useful supplemental study for detecting breast lesions, particularly for women with dense breasts, which are common in the Asian population. Can I choose to do an MRI instead? We do not recommend MRI screening for women of normal risk with no breast symptoms. While MRI has the highest sensitivity for cancer detection and does not require ionizing radiation, its high cost, long scan time and inability to detect calcifications pose limitations for widespread use in screening purposes. How often should I undergo screening if I have risk factors for breast cancer? Please discuss with your doctor if you have risk factors for breast cancer such as certain genetic mutations, family history of breast or ovarian cancer, or previous radiation to the chest. Your breast screening regimen will be personalised according to your risk factors. Can I undergo screening if I have breast implants? Yes, we will perform special mammographic views specific to breast implants. Special care will be taken by our radiographers when performing these mammograms to ensure comfort and preserve implant integrity. Can I undergo screening if I am breastfeeding? Yes, do not put off breast screening because of breastfeeding. We recommend emptying your breasts just prior to the scans as this will improve both image clarity and patient comfort. As part of our educational outreach efforts, we have created a BB keychain with the help of our Club Solis members and volunteers. This keychain illustrates the average size of lumps detected by a breast self-examination as well as those detected via mammogram and ultrasound screening. All of us at Solis and Luma strongly encourage all women to step forward to take charge of your breast health with regular breast screening. <music>